Today is the second day operators of the Catawba Two Kings Casino will operate their 24-hour sports book. It's only the third such spot for betting on games and matches in North Carolina since lawmakers legalized those wagers in 2019. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell is live outside the casino in Kings Mountain. And Savannah, you have a, a look at a neighboring state's gambling revenue. Yeah, that's right, Jason. What we were looking at was Virginia. They legalized sports betting back in 2020, so after North Carolina did. And officials there say they're not reaping the benefits that they thought they would. They legalized it because delegates say that they wanted to capitalize on an opportunity of, of an activity that they knew what would happen regardless of its legality. But when they made the law, they uh, had a loophole in there that allowed uh, platforms and, and operators to write off any money that they'd spent on free play incentives. So delegates found this out. They closed that loophole in July and data from the Virginia lottery shows that change has already made a pretty big difference. Sports betting brought in about $3 million in tax revenue in July for Virginia, and that was up from about only 1.8 million in June. The Virginia Sports Betting Alliance argues that this change will mean fewer promotions for players and could limit the long-term growth of the industry. There's no argument for their position other than we want to make more money and uh, nobody likes paying taxes. A state data shows that betting platforms, they deducted quite a bit less from bonuses and promotables this summer. They went from taking off nearly $8 million to just under $400,000. Now turning our attention back here to the Carolinas, if any bettors would like to take their chances here on the Panthers, we want to give them a little bit of a look. For an inside look, we've got Julian breaking that down in the studio about what the Panthers' chances are, especially with Baker on the team. Julian? That's right, Savannah. This year's Super Bowl is in Glendale, Arizona, but fans of the black and blue should hold off booking their tickets because odd makers at DraftKings have the Panthers at plus 13,000 to make the big game. That's among the worst odds in the league. The Bills, who kick off the NFL season tomorrow night, are the favorites for the Super Bowl. So let's forget about the Super Bowl for now. Let's just focus Focus on this Sunday. Things are looking much better for Carolina. The team is a one and a half point favorite against the Cleveland Browns, but don't expect it to be a high scoring affair. Vegas has over under at just 42 points. That means a 23 to 20 game would hit on the over. What about the game within the game? Run CMC Christian McCaffrey, everyone's favorite fantasy football pick, is the favorite to score in this game. Second on the Panthers is receiver DJ Moore, and then we have Mr. Revenge game Baker Mayfield himself DraftKings officials have his over for passing yards at 220 and touchdowns at one and a half despite landing Mayfield in a trade with Cleveland the Panthers win total for the 2022 season still pretty conservative the win total opened at over six but it moved just a half a game up to six and a half obviously we're hoping the Panthers do much better than what the odds makers are predicting